ready, Marvin? Ah, uh, Marvin. Don't be nervous. You're not. You're not in Costa Rica. You're in Florida. You're not in any jeopardy. You're not in any danger. Okay? You got the clip ready. Good. You ready for that clip? Now let's do this report. Good evening. I'm Steve S. H. Walters reporting for Breaking News 500 here in Girl Beach, Florida. Today's topic is La Mona, or La Mona Bruja, the witched monkey. Now, for this report, we have to go back to Costa Rica. Now, you probably know I've got quite a history with Costa Rica. I love Costa Rica, the people down there, the beaches, the food, so much to do, so much to see. Beautiful Manuel Antonio, everybody loves Manuel Antonio. And you got a lot of small towns and beach towns, the, the great city and capital of San Jose. It's just a great country, but it's also a country with a lot of history, legends and myths. And the legend of La Mona is, apparently this woman was abandoned by her man, and she is so angry about it and so upset she wants to get even. She wants to get revenge on men. So at midnight, she goes down to the Chilame tree. She gets down to that middle of Chilame tree and she picks a flower and she transforms herself into a wild monkey, a vicious monkey or a woman monkey. And she goes out and she attacks wandering men. Now these men that she attacks, she viciously attacks them, and sometimes just with a look or a touch of her hand, she can drive these men insane. Pretty wild, pretty crazy. You men out there, do you believe this? Have you ever came across La Mona in Costa Rica? Also said to be in Guatemala and El Salvador, and Nicaragua. Well, she's all over Central America. There's more than one La Mona. Now we have a clip of a La Mona in action. We want you to watch this clip very carefully, and we'll touch on that after you see the clip. Marvin, are you ready for the clip? He's ready today. He's nervous, but he's ready today. All right, Marvin, roll the clip. <laughs> Be okay, Marvin. Well, folks, what do you think about that clip? You think that was Lamona? You see the way she climbed? You see the way she acted like a monkey? I don't know. Could have been her. Could have been one of many Lamonas. Now, I got a story for you, and I got to tell you in the city of San Jose in Costa Rica, there's an area called Escazú. And Escazú is like the outskirts of San Jose. It's a nice area, kind of a retirement community, a lot of expats and that type of thing but that's also known as the city of witches. That's not a good sign. And the story I'm gonna tell you takes place in the Guanacaste area, and the Guanacaste area is known for a lot of sightings of La Mona. So I'm with a friend of mine in San Jose, Costa Rica, and we're having dinner and a drink or two, and we're talking, and he's telling me about the legend of La Mona. And I'm listening, and it's a good story. It's very interesting. I didn't know about it. Never thought I'd be sharing it. So he tells me this whole story which I'm going to give you right now. He's got this friend, Ramon, that lives in the Guanacaste area. And he's got a good friend from the U.S. of A, a gringo friend that comes down and visits every now and then. And he's spending time with him. And they're in the Guanacaste area and they're out drinking and partying and having a good time. And he tells his friend about the legend of La Mona. His friend doesn't believe it. He says, oh yeah, right, La Mona. She transforms into a monkey. She can drive you insane with a look. I don't believe this. What are you going to tell me next? I, some big, gigantic snake beats everybody up? Something, something crazy is going to happen tonight in town? What kind of joke are you playing on me? He doesn't believe it. Ramon says, I'm not playing no joke. I'm just telling you the real deal. And when we leave here tonight, because it's past midnight, I'm going back to my family. You get back to your hotel. Don't be wandering around. I ain't worried about no Ramona. Come on. Well, Ramon goes back to his family, and his friend goes out wandering around, drunk. He hears the sound of children playing, children laughing. He's thinking to himself, what are children doing out past midnight? What are they doing out here? I better check on them. 
I better make sure they're okay. Make sure they're being supervised. He has good intentions. As he starts following the sound of these children, he wanders to the outskirts of town, and he ends up going into a forest area. He doesn't see no children. There's no children to be found, but he comes face to face with Lamona, 10 yards away from Lamona. And Lamona is standing there giving him an evil look. He gets scared. He gets worried. She's looking at him. He's looking at her. She's looking at him. He's looking at her. He's going, there's no kids. There's no one around. It's just me and Lamona. Now he starts to sober up a little bit. He backs off slowly, turns around and gets back into town. The next day he sees Ramon. He tells Ramon what happened. Ramon's like, oh my God, no. I told you to go back to the hotel. Why didn't you listen to me? I hope you're going to be okay. I hope you're going to be okay. His friend says, I'll be fine. I, I got back safely and it was scary. I got nervous, but I'm okay. I'm good. I'm going to get on a plane today, go back to the good old U.S. of A. I'm going to be fine. He says, I hope you're okay, my friend. I hope you're okay. My God, I told you. I told you go straight to that hotel. You didn't listen to me. I hope you're going to be okay. Three days later, his friend goes insane. So insane that his family had to commit him to a mental facility in the United States. As far as I know, he's still there to this day. I don't know what to tell you. I'll tell you this much. My friend that told me this story has no reason to lie. I'm not in search of La Mona. I'm not going down to the Guanacaste area. You got no reason to make up the story. And other locals would tell you that La Mona is real. La Mona Bluha is out there. She's alive. The legend is alive. She is alive. She is out there. You men that go down to Costa Rica late at night and are wandering around, be careful. Well, that's all I got to tell you. Whether you believe it or not, that's up to you. Whether it's true or not, who knows? I say it's about 50-50. I'm not really doubting it, but I'm not really 100% believing it either. But you did see that clip, and there's a good chance there is many Lamonas out there. So be careful if you're wandering the streets late at night, you men in Costa Rica. Well, hope you've enjoyed this report. I'm Steve S.H. Walters reporting for Breaking News 500. Have a great evening.